downwind of you. This map only shows where the local town is. Well, then I guess you better find a local then, huh, bud? That pirate guy looks like a local. Maybe he'll help us out. Yeah, but we'll have to act the part. You pirate stuff. Really makes the eyes water. Oh. What you want then? He ain't a pirate from the look of ye. You scallywag scurvy dog. You damn well better believe I'm a pirate. Gotta say, nailed it. Oh, you're a pirate, are ye? Might be you'll have to prove it. How you're gonna do that then? I'll prove it by... by looting Phil's cave. Where is that, exactly? A fine idea, that. I do love me some looting. As for Phil's cave, it's just down the way. Good luck getting in, though. Oh, and some other sea dogs went down there to try to loot the place already. So you might have some competition. A poetry page walks upon the wind nearby. <laughs> Lead shot mined from the nine and half hells. Black powder ground from blast hummocks bile. Did you like that poem? Hear the rest of it at the tavern in Riper. <laughs> Some fun. 
How in the scurvy adult heave hole are we supposed to get into this damn place? I have half a mind to keyhole that tricky wizard. What's that? Take a hundred scholars a thousand years to unravel it! <laughs> Got it! What? Ugh! Oh, stupid robot. Well, you shut up and you let the others figure it out, okay? Fine. Come on, y'all. The solution's gotta be nearby. That's always how puzzles work. I know! Don't you think I know that? Now we have to find that guy's certificate of non-evilness. Although I still have my doubts. So voices. I know, right? I'm not the one who made him sound super evil. You did. Maybe huh. I wanted to see how prejudiced my players are. Huh? You ever think of that? I will admit that had not occurred to me. No. Yeah, you didn't. All right, Die. fine. I'm a voicist. Is that what you want to hear? Hey, admitting it is the first step. Ugh. Come on. Maybe. Anyway, let's just find that certificate. See? See? That looked super evil! Are you still going on about that? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. It's real. And that's Queen Butt Stallion's hoofprint right there. I'd recognize it anywhere. See? Not evil. Anyway, we got what we came here for. Now we just have to talk our way into Scallywag Landing.
Well, smack me booty and call me Judy. You're back. No, uh -huh. so all those other scallywags didn't kill you. Would have been a boat on that. They won't be killing anyone anymore because they're dead on account of me killing them. Well, well, killing pirates is the most pirate thing you can do. Suppose I can let you in. Can't recommend on you defending that crooked eye Phil, though. That freak's more evil than Malevatron the Unbenevolent. Her my name ain't Sir Finbreaker, which it is. I'll get the gate for you. But you should know you won't be getting to the jail so easy. Gates locked up tight on account of these creepy old totems Crooker Eye propped up around town. A very handsome guard up there ain't letting anyone through till him's dealt with. So, Phil put creepy totems around town? That sounds like it could be bad for our case. Then let's destroy the evidence. Duh. For once, I actually agree with you. Let's destroy some evidence. There's this dead old ghosty ghost who needs your help getting revenge on his big jerk of a boss, who just happens to be up to something real evil like. And everybody likes revenge and hates evil, right? Except for evil people, I guess. But. Screw them! <clears throat> Whoa! Where'd that thing come from? I have a theory. Do you care to share with the rest of the class, Fred? No. Very helpful, thank you. <laughs> nice! Look 
good. No. You know, pirates are notoriously forgetful. So they usually leave the solution hanging around somewhere. Them chompers chomped you good. Man! I hope I was dead before I got aid. But I just remembered something. The enchanted nose ring protected me from potion fumes. Well, let's go find the back door to the apothecary, and maybe we can figure out the next piece of my death puzzle. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! I know everyone who's supposed to be here! Did you get him? Here, there's something on my troop there. I can feel it. Get those guys so we can find him. Don't say it before me. I've shattered your boss. Be an idiot, you little jolly monster. Let me hot your cat. Where is your place? May God and God stop us. The look on your face. Sneak in. It's locked off. <clears throat> Maybe we could melt the braid off? Seems like something I'd have done in another life. <clears throat> and by another life, I mean the one I had before I was ghostified. Wish I could remember why I traded on the big boss. <laughs> ah, potion of acid splash. Ha, <laughs> damn, that's a lucky find. Let's melt that grate. I mean, seriously, what are the chances that the exact thing we needed would be right here? Get in there, Chief.
These are labeled healing potions. <laughs> that sounds legit, right? Nah, sounds sketchy as hell, dude. <laughs> Ocean cookbook, a mess of seawall parts. <laughs> That's all as I'll get out. It looks like someone was making a big old batch of seawall essence. Ah! <laughs> 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 he should have docked! Or blocked! I don't know, not God! Says here there's a huge shipment of so-called healing potions headed for Brightcorp. Could this be why I was killed? Did I try to stop this? This doesn't look so good. I'm working on a theory. Let's keep moving. <laughs> But I'm sensing that potion doesn't heal you so much as turn you directly into a seawalk. Crazy, right? I'm so close to something here. Oh, that's my head! Grab it! Wait, picking up my head must have jogged my memory. Because I just remember. This must be why they killed me! Yeah, because of the potion that turns people into seawalks. Because of the potion that turns people into sea wars. Every time you get one of my things back, I remember things. Furialism does weird stuff to our sense of identity, I guess. But look, we gotta get to the vet where they're making this potion and stop them from, you know, doing that. They were gonna use these potions to turn everyone in bright look. And I just couldn't let it happen. It's one thing to shake a crookshit down for protection money. It's another thing altogether to turn a whole town into sea wars. Hey! You guys suck! Now you're gonna die too! Oh, you really thought you were going to win, didn't you? You must be lost! Let me show you the way out! Such a murderous mushroom! Essentially a lot. Guess I took a hook to the head while trying to shut this back down. Too bad you weren't here for that one, huh? But I remember how to do it now. Break the temperature on the van. Like 
Level praying to appreciate pineapple on everything. <laughs> oh, it's done, so. Now we just gotta stop them sending what they already made the bright to the captain's quarters. Though I'm tempted to bail just for your awful opinions on pineapple, I guess I can't let the whole town turn into sea wogs because of it. Let's do this. Hey, I don't wanna argue, all right? Let's go. I'm coming for you, Captain Pirate. Watch your ass, you son of a gun. So their big plan was to turn people into sea wargs and then steal from them. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't the sea wargs be even more dangerous than the people, though? Well, I mean, yeah, sure, but what are they gonna do? Stop you from taking their stuff? Sea wargs can't exactly worth nice jewelry. <laughs> Why not? Just suspend our disbelief here and help our pirate ghost friend. Okay? Yeah. Okay. What in the name of Drills, Barber? What now? Surprise, Captain. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Rude Alex. You failed yeah. to stop my plot against the people of Brighthoof and Life. So now you return yeah. in death. I should have known you would be that bloody annoying. But the town is mine.
Okay, I'm noticing a pattern here. Mm-hmm. Further evidence that my theory is correct. And I don't suppose you're ready to share that theory. I am not. Nothing like a job well done. In time, my dear Lachance, wind of my heart sail has been captured. It's that thieving pirate lord, Long Bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass, but alas, he wears the most potent protection, Lachance's plot armor. After Gilbert sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole Lachance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. Plot armor is precious booty. No man can die when wearing it, so the legends go. But somehow, Gilbert pried the armor off my chance. Unless he... No, he had to have used some magic devilry. The witch doctor's an old friend. Her magic's helped me out of many a sea pickle. Which is like a sea cucumber, but even brinier. The more the dice, the better the loot! Looking for a witch doctor, that you? That be she, but she be asleep, or in a trance, or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her witchy slumbers. Wakey, wakey! Well, blow me down! That trance be deeper than a sunken semiotation! But have no fear, there's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Sure to course! Welcome to Yes We Cannon, here for all your cannon needs. If you need something louder, we've got the powder. Uh, care to give it a blast, me lord? D? Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? Yeah, sure. Uh, does it come in, you know, big kid sizes? I need something loud. You know, boom, boom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Just sorry, shut. The Lordy wants it louder. Bring her down below and swap her up with something what kicks proper. Let's show him what the Far Mountain Clan can do. At the ready. Well, if that's the biggest you've got, then that's fine, I suppose. But something tells me you can do better. But the dragon cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the Far Mountain in the last age. Oh, is that all? Come on, then. Very well. Dragon cannon... Dragon cannon hoist! Right, you dogs! Raise high that elder boar from which all worldly sorrows were shot! Today, we rouse the hells themselves! That's it, that's exciting. Put your backs and do it, you sorry spineless such a god! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! But just a moment more, I'm sure. Hold her up faster! The Lord is dying all age up here! I am so sorry, me lordy. They're new. Cannon at the ready, me lordy. you to tell me how to destroy some plot armor. No need to know why. I'm trying to kill a guy wearing it. Damn. Uh, whatever. Can you help? Destroy plot armor? Impossible! Unless you're a cunning witch doctor like myself. I can't destroy it per se. But the curse of true character could turn a crusty coward into a smaller creature, and the armor would fall right off. Well, then again, they might transform into a vicious giant monster, uh, depending on their character. Either or. Oh, great. So, uh, how do we do this wee slash giant beastie curse thing, then? Tell you what. Meet me at the Ravenous Caverns, and we'll put the curse together. Together! <laughs> Good thing you arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day, claiming my master <laughs> cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but we need the proper ingredients first. <laughs> See, hags, comrades and concubines of long bronzed guild bear they are. Bones! So it's you who wants to destroy some plot armor. Didn't Lachance own some? I thought you two were flotsam bound together in a foamy sea of love. Aye, we are now and always will be. But the chance has been kidnapped, and his plot armor sits on the burly chest of long bronzed Gilbert. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. here when I need to pet something soft and flaky and kind of gross. Now we'll harvest the materials for the curse in this hex caster. Now 
will need to collect curse essence from some sorry cursed souls. Head to the grave of the bone-picked pirates. They made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves, only to be eaten alive by cursed crabs. Now they too share the curse, transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak. Summon them with the caster, and when they transform, put them out of their misery. We'll use their salty essence to make the curse. I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never failed to haul me backside out of the brine. Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum. Now place the hex caster and watch it work its magic. Broken the spirits. He's transformed. Now slay him and gather his fooliness. Oh, God. There's no on your face. near my hut. But beware! Those coiled yeah. thrones have given more sailors peg legs than the diamond sword dagger scissor reefs! <laughs> of my undead crew. Once we make you dead first, that is. <laughs> crew, attack! Hold out best you can. Old Bones is on his way. since our last adventure. Are you still a practitioner of the sea sorceress arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? Now you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Now, oh, is a powerful kindness you do me. A thousand thanks. Well 
done, witch doctor. And you be hearty, whatever your name or profession may be. Now to Long Bronze Gilbert's cave to rescue La Chance. We better get a move on. We've had a long walk, followed by a longer swim. He can swim, can't he? Both, I'm insulted. Let me just whip up a portal for you. We never cease to amaze. Come on. You've been with Le Chance for many moons, yeah. Bone. Why haven't you made him your first mate for life? Tis a fair question, Witch Doctor. And after Long Bronze Gilbert sinks to the salty deep and La Chance is free, I just might. <laughs> Now, try to parley. No more blood needs to be shed, unless that blood be the blood of Long Bronzed Gilbert. Parley! Excuse me. Uh, parley. Got, got a uh, parley to get to. Just, just gonna do a quick little parley with the captain, if, if that's all right. Help me out! Yes, Harvey! Parley, do you have an appointment? Parley? No, I don't. That's not a problem, is it? Parley, uh, may I ask then, what is the nature of this proposed chat with Captain Gilbert? Parley, need to tell him to hand over La Chance, or I'll do something terrible and violent. Parley, that seems like a threat. I thought we were parleying. Uh, maybe learn some manners, you know. No way we're letting you in with that barbaric attitude. Damn the ancient and subtle code of parley. Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through. I seem to recall spending a lot of time and effort collecting curse juice or something. Would that work here? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law. Hit them with a hexy! It worked! Look! Their characters made conspicuous by their cowardly carapaces! Now, kill those of you crabs! <laughs> <laughs> we almost broke pirate law. We might have had to suffer through pirate court, a pirate fight, or even pirate community service. Now to finally kill that beguiling bear and free my lovely lich hands. Onward! This better clear any outstanding bounties on my head. Killed my crew, Bones Three. 
end. I'll still be whole, while your heart's but a hollowed out hulk. I'll lead you to what's left of your love. And I'll be on me ship if ye wish to join him. The chance. My bosom companion through seas fair and foul. I'll miss that body. I worked so hard to firm up that coccyx. But there's no time, Bones, oh, You've got to stop Gilbert. I, oh. I, I don't know how much longer I can weather this storm. Come, me hearty. The murdering bastard's on his ship, making ready to flee. Bones, there's someone here who'd like to see you. Bones, can you hear me, Bones? A chance, my love, you're, you're free. Free and waiting for you. You always come for me, Bonesy, and sure is the tide. Here you are. Oh, the chance, but I'm a skeleton, and ye be not but ether. We can't truly be together, unless... Unless me matey here uses some sea sorcery! Me hearty, hex me! Sure, whatever floats your pirate boat. If you want to be sushi, who am I to stop you? Sure is sure. Once I'm a fearsome giant crab, I'll pop right out of me plot armor, and then ye can unmoor my ghostly spirit from my corporeal bonds! Sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here. Uh, if you please. Sure thing, Bones. Hold still. Bibbidi a bum! It worked! At long last, I'm free of that cursed bony prison. Oh, Bones. You're just as beautiful as the day we met. I love. When I'm with you, I'm the luckiest pirate in all the seas. I'd give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more. Let 
chance. Oh, Bones. You're a terrible scoundrel. <laughs> Yar, and don't ye forget it, love. As for you, I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it where we're going. Tis all yours, me hearty. Now come see us away. Tis terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send-off. Well, usually I say stay safe, but you're both already ghosts. So have fun on your voyage, I guess. What? The voyage? <laughs> But where to? We have no chart. I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure, dearest. Let's get away from all this. Away, chance away. We'll go away together. Away, chance away. We'll far away go. Yeah. <sighs> 